Hey everyone, my name is Mark Duiker and I'm a developer advocate for Ably, where we enable developers to build live and collaborative experiences. In this video, I want to show you my latest blog post and demo to illustrate how to use serverless WebSockets, Ably, in a serverless application. In specific, a backend written in Azure Functions, C Sharp, and a frontend using Vue.js, which is hosted on Azure Static Web Apps. The demo is built around a retro-style AD&D game where you gather a team of players and defeat a monster. It's a turn-based game with real-time game updates sent to the players. Let's play the game first before we look how it's built. The game requires three players to play. So I'm simulating now a three-player game by just having three tabs open. So the first player starts a new quest and the quest ID, which you see up here, valuable measly broccoli, is uh, copied to the clipboard, so I can share that easily with the other players. So now the other two players can join. And next thing we have to do is select our character. Well, I'm going to choose the edge messaging fighter. You can update the player name if you want. So I'm joining this quest. The second player is going to be our real-time ranger. And the third player is going to be the open sorcerer. So now the team is complete and the game starts and immediately you'll be being attacked by a monster. And it attacked the open sorcerer, so it lost quite some uh, health. And now the um, initiative is at the edge messaging fighter. So I'm going to attack now and I'm attacking the monster, just five damage, not a lot. And now the uh, real-time ranger um, is about to attack. So I'm also doing that attack. And now it's the open sorcerer's turn. Right, so now all players have attacked and now it's the monster's turn again, which attacks the real-time ranger. So I'm not going to go through and finish the whole game. I think it's nice if you play it for yourself and uh, see um, how, it, how it ends. Uh, so either you, you win and you defeat the monster um, or you'll be defeated by the monster. That's also possible. So let's have a look at the source code um, by going to VS Code. So here we are. So uh, the demo is completely open source. It's on GitHub. I'll include the link in the description. Um, I'll definitely um, encourage you to, to clone it locally and because I have added a code tour. So if you open this folder locally and you have VS Code, you'll be asked to install an extension called Code Tour. And when you have this um, installed, you can get a guided tour through your code. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'll skip a few steps uh, just for sake of time, um, but I advise you to, to do the same thing because you can see exactly how this solution is built. So first things first about the uh, technology stack. Uh, so the backend is built on Azure Functions within um, C Sharp.NET 6. It's also using entity functions. So that's part of the Dribble Functions framework and that um, enables us to have stateful functions. We'll be using Ably uh, as our serverless WebSocket solution to make sure we can distribute the state from Azure Functions to our connected clients. Uh, the front end is written in Vue.js and uh, the front end is hosted on Azure Static Web Apps. So if you look at the uh, communication, um, so uh, the browsers um, initiate some actions by making HTTP calls uh, to Azure Static Web Apps and Azure Static Web Apps then forward those HTTP calls to Azure Functions. All of the game logic is in Azure Functions. I'll show you that a bit later. Um, but what happens is some state will be stored there in Azure Functions by using the Dribble entities. And um, the Ably SDK um, is, is triggered to publish messages via Ably to the clients. And the other clients are connected via WebSockets. So the game API, as I mentioned, is uh, written in uh, Azure Functions in C Sharp. Uh, we have a couple of functions. We have one function called create quest to create a new quest. Uh, there's a function to check if a quest exists that's used by other players who join a quest. We have an add player functionality uh, that's triggered when a uh, character is selected and a name has been provided. Uh, and then the rest of the game uses the execute turn uh, endpoint to make the attacks. And finally, there's a create token with a quest function and that's used by the front end to uh, create a, an Ably JWT token uh, to have a, an application to the Ably backend. 
I'm not going to uh, show you all of the individual uh, functions. I think you can uh, do that on your own. Um, I will briefly skip over to um, the Azure Functions part. So I have added some um, some model classes to Azure Functions. So the actual HTTP functions are just a couple of lines of code, but the business logic or the game logic is written in um, some different classes. The game engine contains most of the orchestration of the games, and that calls out to uh, entity functions, one called game state, and the other is a player. So the game state and player classes are uh, stateful functions. And so there's one game state object, uh, which then contains the collection of players and if the, if the game is over. Um, and uh, there is one player object for each of the players. So the, the monster has a player object and the other three players also have their own player object, which contains their name, their character class, and most importantly, their health. Um, all of these objects um, publish messages to Ably and the, the client is subscribed to these um, uh, updates. So they'll be notified if things change regarding to uh, player updates or um, a new phase of the game. So if you look at the, um, how we are publishing messages uh, from Azure Functions to Ably, I've wrapped that in a publisher class. So this publisher class takes uh, either a REST client or a REST channel, and those are types from the Ably SDK. And if you go to an example here, where we see how we um, publish a message about adding a player. So we uh, retrieve an Ably channel by using uh, the Ably client and providing the quest ID as our channel name. And then we do a publish async and we specify a, an event um, name, in this case, add player. And we specify a payload. So in this case, we make an add player event and specify the player name, the class, and the initial health. Uh, so that's part of uh, publishing messages from the Azure function side. Uh, so that's done by using the Ably REST client. So no web sockets are used there. But if you look at the client side where we uh, receive and are subscribed to the messages, so this is part of the um, Vue.js uh, implementation. Uh, there we call this method called create real-time connection and that uses the uh, real-time SDK uh, of Ably. Uh, so the clients are using web sockets uh, to um, be able to receive these uh, live updates. Uh, so the create real-time connection is called whenever a player starts a game or when they join a game. Um, and here you can see that we're using this create token request to be able to authenticate with Ably. So part of the client code is also to subscribe to the different messages that the Azure Functions publish. So there is an, an event called update phase, which triggers that the game should advance to a new phase. For instance, the phase is character selection, or the phase is play, or the phase is game end. Uh, another message is add player, which we've seen also from the Azure Function side. Uh, player attacking, a player under attack. So these are the types of events uh, the clients are listening to. So this is one of the handler functions. Uh, for instance, when a player is under attack, this handler function is called. It extracts some of the information from the Ably message and is then calling uh, the update player method. Uh, and that will update the local state of the uh, U uh, uh, components. And here we see the view player component. And for instance, here we can see that the health of the player is used to display the actual health of the player uh, in the browser. So if you want to combine service applications with uh, WebSockets, you now know what components you can use and how they work together to create real-time experiences. Um, I encourage you to uh, run the solution yourself. You can, you can run it locally. And, and try to extend it. For instance, maybe you can add a complete new character class, like for instance, a, a, a cleric, which can uh, heal your uh, players. And if you want more information about this project or in Ably, uh, feel free to join our uh, Discord server. Uh, the link is included in the description. And until next time.